might be flying today. First flight. Nervous. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not anywhere near finished training, I don't guess. There's lots of classroom to do. Uh, I've done the uh, wandering around the field, controlling a wing a little bit. Um, once with the motor on, I think, a couple of weeks ago. We've had a couple of weeks here where it's been just windy, windy as hell. Um, so today, over to Clive's little airstrip. Apparently he's doing some tandems. Nigel also said there should be a few over there doing stuff. So even if I don't, it'll be good to be in the area, you know, with other paramotorists. Soaking it all in. But, I don't know, there's a chance I take off today and then uh, learn how to land. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see.
so it's grey and horrible, it's raining, my feet are wet, uh, everything's shit. I don't know how much footage I got from that, but I didn't fly anyway. Uh, but I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I think Nigel wants me to fly. Clive won't let me until I'm ready. I don't feel ready, so it's all good. Um, it was wet and cold, the wings got wet fairly quick. Uh, tried a sort of heavier old wing, didn't really get anywhere with that. A couple of times maybe. Uh, Nigel's wing, much lighter, much nicer. He's trying to sell it to me. Um, I can get that up, no problem. And then once, uh, no problem, most of the time I can get it up. Once it's up, I can control it as long as I keep moving forward. Ground handling's different than taking off. Taking off, you're up there, you're moving forward. You're doing it for a reason. I'm not going to beat myself up about that. If I, a beginner, struggle to pull up a wet wing, no worries. I'm not in a hurry. What I did find out today was um, some of the things that I need to be able to do in order to be sort of signed off and passed, which was quite interesting. So there's three or four papers to sit on like basics, meteorology, uh, navigation, etc. I need to be able to take off and land, for, take off forward and reverse consistently. Um, land obviously. I need to be able to plan across country so given a um, given a destination I need to be able to uh, plan route, height, you know, uh, fuel consumption etc and then go and do that which is pretty cool because cross country is, is you know, what I feel I'd enjoy most. Another thing I noticed today, or learned today, I'm shattered, was um, holding the brake and the A's and the throttle at the same time is not easy. So being able to pull that wing up and get off the A's as soon as possible. There's a kill switch button on there and the throttle works on these two fingers, but these are the ones that I would normally have in the brake. So suddenly you've got the brake around your whole hand. These two fingers are on the throttle. Not that I was using it, but I had to be in a position. And then where do you put the A? It's just hooked over your thumb. Difficult. Takes a bit of getting used to. Low light test.